Hello everyone, here's a guitar lesson for the Jonathan Colton song, Good Morning Tucson. Here's my A if you want to get in tune with me. This song goes sort of between the key of uh, E and G, depending on where you are in the song. But this first riff you're hearing is just based off of uh, an E a B over E and an A over E, and it sounds like this. Which is just these three. You're just basically going between these two sets of strings in the middle, you're going... verse is in, uh, switches to G, which the way I grab this to do Jonathan Colton chords is ring finger on the low G, pinky on the high G. And the rhythm he's strumming is like this, it goes... So it's like down, down, up, down. Or it's more like a down, down, up, mute. He does this hammer-on thing where it's C over G with the index and the uh, middle finger hammering on to sort of make it a C chord over a G, as has been used in almost every one other one of his songs that has G and C. Then comes a D, then D, C add 9, G. The hits are just like... Then uh, the next time you repeat that, it ends with uh, G, D, before it goes to the pre-chorus. So it'll go like this. C add 9, which is kind of like a C just with this D in there, and a D. You have A minor, and you have a D, D sharp diminished, which is, and then back to A, or E. So that whole pre-chorus sounds like this. simple, right? Here it is up to speed. The chorus, pretty simple. It's just this, uh, this E, this B over E, and A over E, so it sounds like this. Sometimes you'll see Jonathan doing the thing where he'll play that E and, and kind of slide up. He'll hit that E and slide up to the B over E. This last time it was B, then D, then G. During the uh, second chorus, instead of ending with that D, you just let that A over E ring out. It goes. Then you have the bridge, which is a uh, versus a G sharp nine chord, up at the eleventh fret. Sometimes you'll hear that high uh, E or D sharp. But it's just right here. Then you have a uh, C sharp. <laughs> yeah, C sharp. Over um, G sharp. 
takes a little bit of getting used to just switching between those two shapes. And then a and an E9 over to A over E. Which this is essentially just an A bar chord with the uh, top removed. So one more time. another chorus which we already went over and uh, the ending just uh, the last chorus just like the verse it goes D and on G and there you have it thank you